Now you may have heard the cost of solar is going up and that is true. In fact, what isn't going up in price these days? But instead of regretting that you haven't gotten solar for your home sooner, procrastination may have actually worked out in your favor this time and I'll explain why that is here in a second. So even if you aren't seeing the benefits of having home solar today, that doesn't necessarily mean that you've missed out. In fact, it could be quite the opposite. So with home solar solutions, there are a technology. And as you know, with any technology, they tend to get better and better year after year. Solar panels are no different. The ones that are on the market today are significantly better than the ones that were available for purchase just a few years ago. So that being the case, is it actually possible to save money on your initial home solar investment? And the answer is yes. So in this video, I'm gonna cover three different ways that will help you save on your initial investment. And we'll start off by talking about number three. One of the best first things to do is to see what incentives are available in your local area. So I would first start out by contacting my utility companies to see if there's any type of rebate programs that are available through them. Uh, a lot of times local utilities will offer rebates that are available once you have a solar system installed. The second thing I would do is check with my local city as well. Uh, the city might have rebate programs available to you to use also, in addition to your utility company, the other thing cities might be able to offer is special low interest financing loans that you can use to purchase your system. Uh, so this can be a really great option to be able to get the capital upfront that you would need to purchase solar for your house. Now, not all utilities in cities have these programs available, but if you do live in an area where these things are available to you, I highly recommend checking this out because this can help save you quite a bit of money on your home solar investment. In addition to rebates that are available through your city and even your utility companies, sometimes you can check with the manufacturer of the solar panels themselves and see if they have any rebates available as well. A lot of times they do, so it's always worth asking the question to see if they have any sort of incentive that can help bring that cost down even more. With solar, it's just like any other business. There's a lot of competition out there. They're always trying to win their customers over, and you might even be able to tap into and purchase solar panels that may be last year's model that can help you save a little bit of money as well. So it's always good to ask these questions to understand exactly what your options are. Now, arguably one of the biggest incentives available is the United States tax credit. So you may have heard of the federal tax credit that's available, but did you know that that was actually scheduled to be reduced at the end of 2022 and then completely eliminated in 2024? Well, that was the case, but Congress actually passed an extension to the program, so you'll be able to leverage this tax credit for the next few years, which is great. The other great thing is that they've actually increased the amount of a rebate that you can get, which has gone from 26% now all the way up to 30%. So that means 30% of the cost of your solar solution you'll be able to use that as a credit amount on your taxes. Now, full disclosure, I'm not a tax attorney, accountant, whatever, uh, I don't know that much about taxes. That's not my area of expertise. So you'll want to be sure to check with whoever prepares your taxes normally to see more information about this incentive and see how it applies to your specific situation. But to be able to save 30% of the initial cost of your home solar solution is a really good deal. And the fact that it went up from 26% to 30% is fantastic, but that kind of also means that procrastination can pay off, which is not good. So um, just please don't tell my kids that. Some other important things to know about this tax credit program because there are some caveats like anything else. First, this has to be a new home solar installation. So you can't just uh, purchase a home, for example, that has an existing home solar solution on it and then expect to get a tax credit. You actually have to have a new solar solution installed on your home. The second criteria is your home has to be in the United States. Another requirement is that you've actually purchased your home solar solution and that can either be with cash or financing options. The thing that they're eliminating here is people that are looking at leasing a system. So if you're looking at leasing a solar system as your option, uh, then just know that the federal tax credit won't be available to you if you do that. And the other big requirement is that you have to have this system installed in the current year. So this was more of a big deal before when the incentive was dropping off uh, rather quickly at one point uh, to lower and lower amounts. In order to be able to get that higher rebate uh, amount, you'd have to make sure that the uh, system was completely installed that year. And then you could claim that highest level of uh, rebate or incentive or the tax credit. But now that this program has been extended for a few years, that's not as big of a deal to worry about in my opinion, but it is also something that you should be aware of. Now, the number one tip I have to save the most amount of money on your initial investment with solar is to simply shop around. Now, I know this is not gonna be a huge surprise to a lot of people, but the cost of solar can vary quite a bit between different manufacturers 
So it's really important to understand what the costs are from not only just a single manufacturer, but also multiple manufacturers. Don't just rely on one company. Go with multiple companies, see what the price points are, understand what the differences are between the solutions that the solar companies offer. I want you to find something that's going to be a good fit for you at the best price point and something that you're going to be able to enjoy for years and years to come. After all, this is an investment into your house and this is something that you're going to depend on for years and years. It's going to be providing the bulk of, if not all of the energy for your home. So you wanna make sure you're happy with that purchase. So as you can see, there are a lot of pieces to putting everything together. Everything from understanding what rebates and incentives are available to you, to understanding what features are available, and even things that may be important to you and your unique situation that aren't important to other people. So I always recommend talking with an expert. The expert can help you understand what options are available to you, what rebates and incentives are available to you, and they can consult with you to help you understand the bigger picture of what it should look like when it comes to getting solar at your house. So if you haven't gotten a quote already, or if you're looking at getting an additional quote, I'll have a link in the description below that you can click on and go request a free, no obligation quote through a company that I trust. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button below. And also I'll have another video that pops up here that you can go and check out. I'm sure you'll find this video helpful as well. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.